Joining me now is Dan Gillison. He is the executive director of the American Psychiatric Association Foundation. Thank you yes. so much for sitting down with me today. Well, thanks for having me. How is it all going so far? It's going very well. It's going very well. We're very excited. We have a record number of members uh, attending. Oh, that's awesome. So can you refresh your memory for those who don't know, what yeah. is the APA Foundation? Well, the, the foundation is the 501c3, um, not non profit organization uh, that supports uh, the, uh, the the APA and supports programs in the community. So it really is uh, uh, doing a number of things that is really about fundraising and then using those funds to have an impact on the, for the members and in the community. This is your third year as executive director. Yes. Looking back, what are you most proud of? Uh, the growth. Uh, we've, we've had growth in uh, uh, contributions and donations from the members. We've had growth in contributions and donations from the private sector. Uh, and we've had also growth uh, uniquely from our workforce where they're able to also make contributions to the foundation. So we've seen some excitement, engagement, and, and participation by all three uh, groups, the private sector, our members, and our employees, uh, the, the staff of the APA to contribute to the foundation. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. What do you see looking forward for the foundation and the APA? Uh, continuing to make an impact. Um, we have a number of different things that we do, uh, including our fellowships and awards, uh, and, and the research that we do in addition to the programming that we do for the, for the communities in education, in the private sector, uh, in the justice space with the Stepping Up initiative, all the way to our faith-based initiative. So what we see is a, kind of like a segmentation and a, an area and an opportunity for us to get involved in some additional programming. So we're going to go deep and wide with the ones I just mentioned, and then we're going to look for a couple other niche projects to, and programs to get involved in. Specifically, uh, yes. what are you contributing to? I, I hear there's APA archives and a rare book room. Yes. Can you talk? Can you dive in a little bit? I'm Oh, intrigued. absolutely. Thanks for the question. <laughs> Love to. Um, with our move from Arlington, Virginia, back into Washington, D.C., we had the wonderful opportunity to uh, reintroduce our library and our rare books room to the members. Um, uh, this, uh, we found that the assets of the library uh, were owned uh, by the foundation uh, and as we uh, learned that we looked to see if we could actually create a space uh, to have a library and bring it back uh, online if you will. So we've created the Melvin Shapshin Library and Archives. We have over 1,500 rare books. The estimated value of the collection is about 1.5 to $2 million. Uh, and we have books uh, going back all the way to the 1500s. Oh my gosh, yes. so what has the response been to this? The response has been incredible uh, from the members. Um, it's all about pride, and, and I think there's a, a pride of the acknowledgement of the, the science of psychiatry, mm -hmm. uh, the respect for the history of psychiatry, and then us looking forward to what's the future of psychiatry. So a number of our members um, have really enjoyed uh, being able to come in and see the library. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also have created an adopt a book program. So a member can adopt a book and either adopt that book in their name or adopt that in the memory of someone or for uh, uh, someone who is, uh, uh, that they, they uh, feel has done something very unique in the, uh, in the field of uh, psychiatry. And that program has uh, taken off in terms of the uh, ability to adopt a book. Well, enjoy the rest of your time here in New York City. Yes. Dan Gillison, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. All right, we will. <laughs>